you musky, walleye, bass. Here comes Pursuit Show. Okay, here we go. Woo! Hey guys, Big John here. Hey guys, Big John here um, with my friend Mackay. Uh, guys, uh, I met Mackay, I want to say, a year, year, year and, and a half. half. Yeah, about a year yeah. and a half ago. I was down at the, the city boat ramp there. And I heard, hey, Big John! Big John! It was <laughs> yeah. the guy, so. I was shy back then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, anyways, we got talking over the years and uh, we share a lot of the same interests. Guys, McGuy, he does a lot of help with uh, a lot of the tournaments uh, down here and up in Long Point. He runs the, he helped run the release boat, eh? Yeah, the Long Point Bay Anglers Association release boat. Um, we release probably, well, let's say the Mitchell's Bay Open. Um, we probably have almost 200 fish, maybe even more. We release back into the into the lake, and they survive. That's great. Yeah, yeah like uh, so. You see it. You see it a lot now. Uh, and is is the release rate like it's pretty much 100 percent now? Hey, eh? like these guys know how to take care of these fish. Yeah, like you know tournament. what? There is the odd one. There is the odd one that, that dies or whatever. Yeah. Um, we do give that away, you know, for the unfortunate okay. or whatever. Um, but as far as the release rate, it's pretty much 97%, 98% maybe. That's great. Yeah. So, so what's, what's the procedure, um, with, with releasing the, the fish? Like, cause so these, these fish get caught all over the place guys. And it's uh, from what my perspective from tournament fishing back in the day, they used to say that it's not good to release all the fish at the marina. Uh, you know, bring them back out into the lake. And is, is that yeah. what it's all about? Or? Yeah, we, uh, well, they, we want to kind of go to the temperature that they come out of, right? Okay. Um, they always come deeper and shallower or whatnot, but the temperature usually is the same. Um, when we go fill up the tanks before the weigh in, okay. we uh, go out, pay, say about two kilometers maybe, and then get water from way out in the lake. Really? And then fill it up so it's the same temperature. Because you can't release it in the marina because yeah. warm water in the marina gets shallow compared to the lake, you know, like you got to release them okay. where they came from pretty much. Now, what about, um, what would you say in these tournaments, uh, like, like Lake St. Clair, uh, you're probably 95% smallmouth and 5% largemouth, or do you see? Um, I've only done the one in Mitchell's Bay and Long Point Bay. Um, I haven't done one at the Detroit River yet or anything. I don't know if there's too many tournaments out that way. Okay. Um, the Mitchell's Bay one, it's mostly smallmouth. We do see the odd largemouth, but okay. not too often. Cool. Not too often. You know, speaking of that, I was talking, I had uh, Domo's custom tackle here the other day, Dominic Giannotti, and we were talking about the weights on Lake St. Clair. These guys are bringing in 24, 25 pounds for five fish, guys. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's, that's like uh, what we do is when that's we, almost a five pound average when we release the fish, like we're all netting them, right? Yeah, because it's not like as easy as opening a chute and then dumping them. You have to kind of like you net them in the tank and then you kind of fill the net up and plop them in so that they get a breath of fresh air, right? When they hit their head or whatever. Okay, and uh, some of those sometimes you can only grab one in the net, sometimes you can grab three or four at a time, but you don't want that net to break, they're so heavy. Yeah, like there, there's good good weights. That that's yeah. amazing. Now, um, when you do long point, uh, are you seeing a lot of smallmouth weight in there, or is it mostly large one? Um, it's smallmouth as well. Um, like where would they go for smallies? Or like, would they go up towards uh, New York, or like, like how far would they run for those smallies? You can get them in Long Point Bay. Really? Um, eh? I think they they get them in Turkey Point. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where they go. Um, but the difference, the fish are much more lively at Long Point because it's weird. Like the fish here, like in Mitchell's Bay and St. Clair, they uh, go right to the, they always gasp for air at the top of the tanks. Yeah. But the ones in Long Point, Turkey Point, they all, they're all swimming right around the bottom. The ones here look like minnows at a minnow pail. You know what I mean? Really? Eh? They, they still survive, but yeah. it's like they want out, you know? That's crazy. Yeah. It's, and and what, what do you guys uh, what do you guys run like just a pontoon boat? Yeah, just a, I don't know what size it is, but it's just a dual pontoon boat. Okay. And uh, two tanks, one in each corner. Well, one one in the front, one in the back. Um, 
Yeah, with oxygen and everything, we oxygenate the tanks. We always measure it every hour, I believe it is. Really? Um, yeah, make sure that they have the same oxygen. Because we measure when we get the water, we measure the oxygen in the water when we fill the tanks up pre first. Okay. And then uh, fill the tanks up and measure oxygen, and then we can always keep it at that level. Because then it will be more like exactly what's out there, right? That's awesome. Yeah, so it's fun. It's really fun. I enjoy helping. And, yeah, uh, and, and you know what? We're saving a... He's saving a fishery, guys. Like, I mean, this is, uh, this is, this is amazing. Like to, to know that, I mean, back in the day when we used to tournament fish, you'd have certain boats that would volunteer to throw, you know, 20 bass in their live well, uh, and, and take them back out and release them. Um, and you know, it's crowded. There's stress on the fish. These guys have a boat that's designed uh, to release these fish and, and 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 to protect them through the weigh-in uh, process, so that's that's, yeah, that's pretty, really fun. I, I awesome. love it. Um, yeah. The Long Point Bay Anglers Association, they do a lot. Um, I've never volunteered with anything really. Yeah. Um, but they they actually give you UV shirts um, to awesome. run the boat. It's advertising for them, but it's also cool. Like you volunteer for free yeah and then you get a shirt you know what i mean so how does this boat get funded or or can they accept donations i think anywhere, it's or? i think it's all donations um, okay mostly from like old cut marina there's a one marina up there old cut and there's a few automotive places they have all have signs on the side of the boat oh good good so if you're ever in mitchell's bay so like, so it's a sponsored vessel yeah uh, so yeah we'd like to take the time to thank the companies uh that that are out there that that help run this process that's great man and there's a the guy that runs the boat john he's i don't know he's really nice like he yeah. goes above and beyond you know try to get volunteers there's not too many volunteers especially like when they come down here yeah like, when they go up there like people work and whatnot um people are getting older and he needs younger people so it's pretty much me and sean that kind of help out to help out and Whoever want, else wants to show up, like the volunteers, but I've only seen me and Sean so far. Is there, is there a name of the boat or the uh, company just, that does Just it? Long Point Bay Anglers Association. Oh, okay. Yeah, they run the boat. They, uh, I don't know where they store it or not, but That's I know Turkey Point Marina helps out, I believe, with that. Yeah. Yeah, so. Awesome. Yeah, it's fun. Cool. So yeah, guys, that's Mc, McGuire, man. Oh. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Be positive. And look for this guy. He's all, he's around, man. He's always <laughs> up there fishing, or he's selling parts at uh, Part Source. Part Source, man. Yeah. So support Part Source, guys. He uh, the one on Dougal. The one on Dougal. <laughs> yeah. Bring him a coffee. What, what's it? Extra large double double. Extra please. large double double. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Love you all. Big John Joe. Be positive. Don't be negative. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, man, cheers. <laughs>